it is obvious that this was a partisan deployment. And we'll show you two more short videos, very short. Um, the first one is this one. This is the funeral of the late MP, the MP who died. This is his funeral. These are those forces again at the funeral. So the MPP who died, uh, the senior NPP officials were all there at his funeral, and these forces were at the funeral dancing. These are not security personnel. I mean, Ghana Police Service and other security personnel do not wear earrings and uh, things like that. You could see one of them had an earring in his, in his ear. I mean, this is just a band of hoodlums put in uniforms and deployed for a purpose. And this happened before the election. And so it means that they had been camped already in preparation for the election. So this is the first video. I'll let you see another one. This one. These two vehicles, this black Land Cruiser and the one behind it, are the vehicles of the parliamentary candidate for Iwaso West Wagon, the MPP candidate, Lydia, who is currently in parliament. Now watch behind the cars. You see a police vehicle. You see those guys again. They were escorting her from polling station to polling station. And so they were providing security to the parliamentary candidate of the NPP. This is the meteorological station, the headquarters of the meteorological agency. There's a polling station there. And so she was going on an inspection of the polling stations. And these guys who perpetrated the violence were escorting her from polling station to polling station. I mean, if they were neutral participants, what would they be doing escorting one parliamentary candidate and then attacking the house of another and discharging weapons and injuring people? And so it just shows absolute proof that this was a partisan deployment. And as they themselves said, a dress rehearsal for the year 2020.